Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is question 3.17 of chapter 3 and the statement of it is a continuous random variable x that can assume values between x equal to 1 and x equal to 3 has a density function given by f of x equal to 1 by 2. Okay. So uh, before going into the detailed discussion of this question, let us first see that what is this and what are these values. So in between 1 and 3, this function lies which is 1 by 2 and it remains constant in between all these values. Okay. So let us first write the given data. So in given data, we have word. Let us draw it and in drawing it, you will very clearly see that this is word. This is the PDF plot. This is x, this is f of x, okay, and it has values from 0, 1, 2, and 3, okay. So it has some values. Now, in order to draw it, we have here this value 1 by 2, okay, and here according to the statement given here, the values lie between 1 up to 3. Okay. And as all these values are continuous because the random variable here we have is a continuous random variable. So, therefore, it will be the constant value or we can see here that it will be like this one. Okay. So, this is what this is the statement of our question. Now, in order to solve it, what we have to do, let us see the solution. And in order to solve it, I have chosen this place. Okay. And here I have to find the solution of part A in which I have to show that the area under the curve is equal to 1. I have to find out the area which is given and this is here in this range. Now in order to find it out, I know that in a continuous random variable area is equal to the lower range which is here the 1 up to the higher range which is 3 okay and taking the integral of it and then writing the value of f of x okay which is what let me write here the f of x okay d of x now here the value of f of x remains constant in the, between these values so therefore let me write in and it will become 1 up to 3 and the value of it is 1 by 2 d of x okay or it will also be like uh, 1 3 as this is a constant, it will come out of this and it will become d of x, okay. Or ultimately, it will give what? It will give this will be 1 by 2 multiplied by this x, okay. This x, let me write it here as well, and the ranges which are from 1 to 3, okay. So now, let me solve it and solving it, what I will get, this is 1 by 2 multiplied by the value of x, higher value, which is 3 minus the lower value, and 1 by 2 multiplied by 2 which is basically equal to 1 and that is what that is the solution of part A which basically says that the area under this graph or this curve is basically 1 okay, which is proved here. Okay. So now going towards part B of our question. So this is part B and here we have to find the probability in which x is greater than 2 and less than 2.5. Okay, I have to find out the probability that x is greater than 2 and less than 2.5. Okay, here I have to do what again taking the integral because this is now a continuous random variable writing the lower limit here the higher one here okay and the f of x which is again 1 by 2 d of x okay so again integrating it just like this one what will we get we will get the same value which is written here okay so now only the values of the ranges will be different which are here and here so now writing them out here what i will get here i will get 1 by 2 x and the values of x are 2 2.5 okay so it will be 2 writing the higher range 2.5 minus 2 okay so it will be 1 by 2 multiplied by 0 0.5 okay so which is ultimately 1 by 4 the solution of what the solution of part b okay so now this is the solution of part b now going towards the solution of part c in which i have to find out the value in which x is less than 
or equal to 1.6 okay so here i have to find out the probability that this x is less than or equal to sorry let me remove it this one as well so x is less than or equal to 1.6 okay as we can see that this basically lies from 1 to 3 so therefore the x less than 1.6 basically corresponds with the values which are in between 1 and 1.6 so therefore i have to take the integral in between 1 and 1.6 okay and writing the values here again the the function here is a constant so therefore this will be dx okay again the same function because the x f of x is not changing so therefore it will be 1 by 2 x and here it will be 1 into 1.6 okay so now let me solve it here so it will become 1 and lower value minus higher value minus lower value so here 1 by 2 multiplied by 1.6 and this is 0 0.6 okay so it will become how much it will become 0 0.3 okay so that is what that is the solution of part c okay so in today's video we have seen the solution of question 3.17 which had basically part a b and c and we have solved them uh, which is related to the continuous random variable given here if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon